In today's video, we're going to survey and briefly summarize the book of Ecclesiastes. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. As for the author, the book of Ecclesiastes does not directly identify its author. There are quite a few verses that imply Solomon wrote this book. There are some clues in the context that may suggest a different person wrote the book after Solomon's death, possibly several hundred years later. Still, the conventional belief is that the author is indeed Solomon. As for the date of writing, Solomon's reign as king of Israel lasted from around 970 BC to around 930 BC. The book of Ecclesiastes was likely written towards the end of his reign, approximately 935 BC. Now, as for the purpose of writing, Ecclesiastes is a book of perspective. The narrative of the preacher, or the teacher, reveals the depression that inevitably results from seeking happiness in worldly things. This book gives Christians a chance to see the world through the eyes of a person who, though very wise, is trying to find meaning in temporary human things. Most every form of worldly pleasure is explored by the preacher, and none of it gives him a sense of meaning. In the end, the preacher comes to accept that faith in God is the only way to find personal meaning. He decides to accept the fact that life is brief and ultimately worthless without God. The preacher advises the reader to focus on an eternal God instead of temporary pleasure. Here are some key verses. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 2. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 18. For with much wisdom comes much sorrow. The more knowledge, the more grief. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 11. Yet when I surveyed all that my hands had done and what I had toiled to achieve, everything was meaningless, a chasing after the wind. Nothing was gained under the sun. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come and the years approach when you will say, I find no pleasure in them. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Here is a brief summary. Two phrases are repeated often in Ecclesiastes, the word translated as vanity in the KJV and meaningless in the NIV appears often and is used to emphasize the temporary nature of worldly things. In the end, even the most impressive human achievements will be left behind. The phrase under the sun occurs 28 times and refers to the mortal world. When the preacher refers to all things under the sun, he is talking about earthly, temporary human things. The first seven chapters of the book of Ecclesiastes describe all of the worldly things under the sun that the preacher tries to find fulfillment in. He tries scientific discovery, wisdom and philosophy, mirth, alcohol, agriculture, property and luxury. The preacher turned his mind towards different philosophies to find meaning, such as materialism and even moral codes. He found that everything was meaningless, a temporary diversion that without God had no purpose or longevity. Chapters 8 through 12 of Ecclesiastes describes the preacher's suggestions and comments on how a life should be lived. He comes to the conclusion that without God, there is no truth or meaning to life. He has seen many evils and realized that even the best of man's achievements are worth nothing in the long run. So he advises the reader to acknowledge God from youth and to follow his will. As for foreshadowings, for all of the vanities described in the book of Ecclesiastes, the answer is Christ. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 17, God judges the righteous and the wicked, and the righteous are only those who are in Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. God has placed a desire for eternity in our hearts, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, and has provided the way to eternal life through Christ, John chapter 3, verse 16. We are reminded that striving after the world's wealth is not only vanity because it does not satisfy, 
But even if we could attain it, without Christ, we would lose our souls. And what profit is there in that? Mark chapter 8, verse 36. Ultimately, every disappointment and vanity described in Ecclesiastes has its remedy in Christ, the wisdom of God, and the only true meaning to be found in life. Now for some practical application. Ecclesiastes offers the Christian an opportunity to understand the emptiness and despair that those who do not know God grapple with. Those who do not have a saving faith in Christ are faced with a life that will ultimately end and become irrelevant. If there is no salvation and no God, then not only is there no point to life, but no purpose or direction to it either. The world under the sun, apart from God, is frustrating, cruel, unfair, brief, and utterly meaningless. But with Christ, life is but a shadow of the glories to come in a heaven that is only accessible through Him. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, if you've got questions, the Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.